Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you want to see how we made this amazing and delicious easy strawberry shortcake, just keep on watching. Hey guys, for this recipe, you're going to need some strawberries. You can use a whole pint if you desire. You're going to want some of this sauce left over, so it's a good idea. You need about a third of cup of sugar. You can use more or less to your taste. About a teaspoon of lemon juice, and that just brightens up the flavor. Gonna need a sponge cake and some whipped cream. I also added some vanilla in mine just to give it a little different taste. It was amazing, but that's totally optional. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start with some strawberries, nice and clean, that I have had soaking in a mixture of water and vinegar just to clean them thoroughly and to disinfect them. So we are going to take them out the bowl, pour the water off, dry them off, and then we are going to just take a plate um, put your strawberries on and cut off those green little ends there. Now, I dice my strawberries in half. You can further dice them or you can leave them whole. This is going to definitely depend on you. And the only difference is the chunkier or bigger that you leave it, the more chunks that will be in your strawberry shortcake syrup. And personally, I like mine a little kind of thick with chunks in there. I just feel like it, it just tastes better. Now, if you want a really smooth filling, just go ahead and dice your strawberries up a little smaller. I'm just gonna use some real lemon juice. Do you guys remember the huge lemon hauls that we used to get? I juice like half of a lemon or a whole lemon and just put it in little Ziploc bags and freeze it. So that way it's always, you know, there when I need it. So I'm basically just going to add this into my pot. If you don't have this totally okay, just use that teaspoon of lemon juice. If you want to add in some vanilla, this is the point that you would add it in. This is not a necessary component of this recipe. However, it does give that strawberry glaze sauce just a little more oomph in there and it tastes amazing. I used about a teaspoonful of vanilla in there and then of course you just mix it up now at this point you're going to go ahead and put your one third part of sugar in there as well now if i'm going to be honest with you i added just a little bit more than a third cup of sugar because these strawberries were really bland like they were they weren't good at all so i just added that in there and now it's time to put this pot on the stove this is going to be one of the easiest, most simple recipes that you can make. And it honestly looks like you spent a ton of time on it and they don't know <laughs> that is basically only like three ingredients basically to make the sauce. So let's go ahead and get this on the stove now. Okay, so I just put the pot on, turn it on medium heat. And we are just going to let this go. Now you will need to cook this mixture about 15 to 18 minutes, maybe 20 I have mine slightly under medium because I don't want it to scorch or burn. You do need to kind of stay there and watch it though, just so it doesn't bubble over. Okay, let's get into this, you guys. I got this dessert shells from Crest, I believe. I believe they were on sale for 99 cents. So that was a huge deal for me, especially since I had all these strawberries at my house that I needed to do something with. So you just need one pack of dessert shells. If you can't find this or don't wanna use this, no issues. Any sponge cake or pound cake will work as well. And then you're just gonna need some whipped dairy topping. This is just whipped cream that we got from Aldi's. You know, we've been finding this quite a bit, so this is really all you need. All right, guys, about five minutes in, this is what your sauce is going to be looking like. You see it is coming to a boil, which is good. It's going to soften those strawberries. The sugar is melted down. That lemon juice is incorporating in, and it looks and smells amazing at this point. Sorry that steam was getting in the camera lens, but you just want to stir it, kind of leave it, come back in about five minutes, stir it, and this is what it's looking like. Okay guys, so I removed it from the heat. It took me about 16 minutes to get the, to this point, this consistency. Now after about 10, 12 minutes, it's basically done. It just depends on how thick you kind of want it. So that's totally optional and up to you. So you see me just kind of stirring it just a bit. I want that air to kind of incorporate in so it cools down a little quicker. You don't want to put it on your dessert shell super hot, nor do you want to put the whipped cream on when it's super hot because, you know, 
is gonna melt so you definitely want it to cool down and I am just doing this and then I'm just going to let it sit for about 10 15 minutes until it's room temperature okay guys so as it sits it's going to thicken up slightly so remember that when you're trying to debate when to take it off the heat it's gonna thicken up still y'all this was so good you can literally dip a shoe in this sauce and it will be amazing it's that good so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and um, plate my dessert shells now we did have one of our friends over well one of babe's friends so I put theirs on real plates I'm gonna be eating in the den so I just got a paper plate and you want to dip your sauce in your shell now I like my sauce to kind of drip over the edge just a bit just to kind of give you that little rundown runny situation now my sauce was a bit thick for this if you want that look definitely um, take your sauce off before I did like I said mine cooked for about 16 minutes and it was perfect all right after you have your sauce in your shells you're just gonna take your whipped cream and you're just gonna put a little dollop there in the middle the good thing about these little cans is that anytime it comes out it's like a design so you don't have to do too much and I'm just putting just a couple of little squirts of whipped cream around the side one it looks good and two you may want you know a little extra whipped cream um with your dessert so i was like hey, i'll just put a couple of little couple of little squirts on there that's mine and you see how much whipped cream i put on mine because y'all i love whipped cream it is my jam i'm also going to add just a little bit more of the sauce on there just in case they may want a little bit i'm serious about this sauce you can dip your foot in it you can dip your shoe in it you can dip your hairbrush in it and it's going to be good this sauce was everything and it's so simple to make lastly I'm just gonna take a few strawberries that we have because I told you y'all we have a ton of strawberries just to kind of add it to the plate now if I were really doing this like if people were over I would have sliced them and garnished them at the top but it's just us and our friends so this is good enough and there you have it you guys these were the most simple easiest dessert I really think you can make and it's so pretty it's so good and just looking at it, it looks like you spent a ton of time on it. If you try this recipe, definitely let me know. It is so good. I really want to hear if you try it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Let me know down below how you guys are enjoying these cooking videos. It's just kind of something extra to add as videos to go live in the evening since I'm already doing a ton of cooking anyway. But don't worry, we will still be doing our diving videos in the morning. Also comment down below if there's something specific that you would like to see us make a video about or a certain type of food that you would like to see us cook. I have some big ideas. I'm working on something right now and I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be a new series on my channel. I'm so excited for you guys to see it and take part in it. But like I said, subscribe to the channel definitely give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful or entertaining and we will see you in the next video bye guys